Even though Americans are more physically active now, obesity levels continue to rise unperturbed. This is according to researchers from the University of Washington and reported in the journal Population Health Metrics. The authors of the study claim that some benefits will become more evident as additional members of the population run, cycle, and exercise. There will be fewer people dying or become chronically disabled from cardiovascular diseases and type 2 diabetes. However, they cannot fully explain why obesity rates have increased at nearly the same rate as increases in physical activity nationwide between 2001 and 2009. According to the director of the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, Dr. Christopher Murray, it's not hard to see huge growths in the number of people becoming physically active. This tells us there will certainly be health benefits in these portions of the population. If communities in the U.S. can replicate this success and simultaneously tackle the ongoing obesity impact, we can see even greater health gains. The biggest jumps in sufficient physical activity levels were seen in counties in Florida, Georgia, and Kentucky. Texas saw the greatest gain in physical activity for men from 41.4% in 2001 to 58.2% in 2009. For women, the highest increase was seen in Morgan County, Kentucky, growing from 25.7% to 44%. Sufficient physical activity is defined as 150 minutes of moderate activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week.